by Chief, given the coverage that's happening today, what's our message to parents here in Dallas who may have concerns about something like that happening in our neighborhoods? I think the message I want to get back to the people in, in Dallas is, is that nothing is more important than your students and our staff safety. We're going to always put them first. And if we make a decision and we're looking at what we're going to do at a campus, that's going to be our primary focus. We take social media threats serious whether it be something that's domestic or something that's from overseas, we're going to always take them very serious. We're going to work within our own agency and we're going to try to develop as much intelligence information as we can. But at the same time, we're going to work with our partners. We're going to work with the Dallas Police Department. We're going to work with the FBI if that's warranted. And we're going to get all the information sources that we think are necessary for us to be able to make the decision that's appropriate for the safety of your, your kids and our staffs. Chief, we've heard a whole lot about terrible events happening in our schools, but we also know that here in Dallas ISD, we've invested a lot of resources into keeping students safe. Can you talk about some of those ways that we look after our kids? Yeah, following Sandy Hook, we, we did some really innovative things, uh, even considering the, the country. We, we realized that following Sandy Hook, there were some things that we didn't have in place that we really needed to have in place. So the first thing we started with was our elementary schools, those 153 campuses where we don't have police or security located. And we focused on trying to physically harden those campuses and make it so everybody would come to one door. Uh, at, before Sandy Hook, we only had six buzzer camera systems in, our, in place in our school district, where now every single elementary school has that system. We have more than 1,500 portables in our school district, all with solid core doors. Prior to Sandy Hook, they didn't have a, a, a way that you could look through that door and see who was knocking on that door. We instantly in, uh, in, uh, put in place a process where we installed uh, some peepholes in those doors and now teachers can teach it, stand seven feet away and look at, through that and see who's standing at their front door. We looked at the camera systems. We have incredibly intricate camera systems at our secondary campuses, $100,000 systems, but our elementary schools didn't have anything. And we went ahead and we put standalone camera systems. And now we've gone past that in the past three years, to now we're trying to get them integrated on the same video platform that our more intricate, uh, higher uh, systems are on. And so, you know, then we started card access for, for the staff. And, you know, we've been doing that. We implemented that at the, uh, the elementary campuses where you've got doors that, that people come in and out of, the staff does, with a card reader, uh, it, which basically gets us back to the point where we started, which is trying to get everybody to come through one door. Because I think it's really important for our, our parents to realize nothing is more sensational right now in the public than bomb threats and terrorist acts. We know what happened in Paris. We know what happened in San Bernardino. Uh, I'm a member of the, ter the Joint Terrorism Task Force in North Texas. I meet with the FBI. I go over these trends and the things that are coming into this country. But the one thing that I've found is, is that it, as, as horrific as these events are and it's, as much media attention as they get, you're still as a, as a student in a public school system, more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to be involved in a school shooting. So I think our emphasis in the district has been on, let's make our buildings as safe as we possibly can. We're gonna worry about the big issue. We're gonna worry about the threats. We're gonna worry about, about a gunman, but we really are more concerned about, or as concerned about the daily safety on the campuses and who gets onto that campus and where they, can have, where they have access to. Chief. What should an adult or a student do if they are made aware of a potential threat? Well, students should do just what we've been doing within our district. We've got some great kids in our Dallas ISD school districts, and the, the saying, see something, say something, has never been more applicable as it has been over this past two months within the district. We've received so much information from students who in some instances got that information from parents, but parents and students who talked to their campus officer, talked to their campus principal, talked to their campus, their students, teachers, and their, those that people get that information to us. With more eyes looking at something, we're gonna have much more success in being able to determine what it is. And finally, Chief, are our schools safe? I feel extremely confident that the Dallas Independent School District schools are safe and that our staff and our students are safe. Issues happen in society, and we have to take those issues serious, and I understand them. But we've done the things that we need to in our, in our school district. We put in place those safety measures to make us safer, 
Uh, are you always going to be safe? Is there always a potential something could happen that you're not prepared for? Certainly there are. But we work with our counterparts, we try to prepare with them, so that if one of those situations comes and takes place, we're going to be able to respond to that and take a situation that, that may be escalated at one point and we're going to be able to de-escalate it.